So today I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the Panasonic G85 and the 12 to 60 kit lens and some of the image stabilization modes and compare that to an iPhone 7 Plus. So take a look. So here I have the basically image stabilization turned off on both cameras. Um, and it should be noted that I'm not sure how to even turn off the image stabilization on the um, 12 to 60 lens because I know it has it inside, but there's just no way to turn it off. But as you can see, both shots are pretty unsteady. So I think it's fair to say these are neither of them are very good. So here I have both uh, the basic stabilization on the camera on the G85 turned on as well as on the iPhone 7 Plus. And they both do a pretty good job, I would say. Um, yeah, I mean, definitely better than with no image stabilization. So it gives you a feel for the difference there. So here I have the image stabilization on for both, but I've also turned electronic or e-stabilization on the G85 on. And I have to say, I'm not, I don't, you'll, you'll definitely lose, you get some cropping um, as with all stabilization, it adds more crop, but I just, I don't know, I don't see it to be that impressive. So kind of surprising, but um, I will probably leave it turned off for the most part on the G85. Okay, so here I'm comparing the G85 with everything off and then the G85 with everything on. I know they're not totally in sync, but I think you get the idea. Um, yeah, definitely better with everything on. I'll probably leave the E stabilization off. And you know, this isn't gonna replace a gimbal, but it's better than, than nothing. So I would say it's, it's not bad, but the iPhone is darn near as good. What are my thoughts? My thoughts are that the E stabilization is gonna add a crop factor and it, I just don't see that much of a difference and you can do it in post and final cut. So what I would say is if I'm shooting handheld, I'm gonna definitely turn on the image stabilization, just not the e-stabilization. I'm not sure the, the kit lens that comes with this, the 12 to 60, as far as I know, it has dual IS2 in the lens, but there is no way that I can find to turn it off separately from the IBIS or in-body stabilization. So if someone knows the answer to that, please put it in the comments. And I was actually really surprised at how good the iPhone was for stabilization. It is optically stabilized, so, but it's just amazing that in that little small package, how good of a job it does. So there you go. Hopefully that helps a little bit. Um, you know, maybe in the future, I'll do a little more scientific comparison. I had a little problem getting the videos to sync up just right for some reason. It was, I don't know why. Usually the audio sync works fine in Final Cut. For some reason, this time it was just off by a bit, so I had to do everything kind of manually. Hopefully that helps and you can see what the G85 does as far as image stabilization. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, put any comments that you might have, and if you subscribe, that really helps us out a lot to keep making content like this. And until next time, I'm Chris with 2-Bit DaVinci. Thanks for watching.